Welcome back to Blender for Biochemists. Again, going through molecular nodes. And today we're gonna to be making a virus. To make a virus, we're gonna we're going to be downloading coordinates from the PDB, and then I'm going to be demonstrating the biological assembly node that I've made, which will generate an entire biological assembly based on the coordinates from the PDB. So we're gonna need the coordinates from a virus. Uh, in this case, for an example, I'm gonna use 1CD3. So this is from a particular bacteriophage, which is talked about in PDB 101. We might also, we'll also do an example with clathrin as well. Now, the biological assembly, if we click right, you can see this is the asymmetric unit. So we, we won't go into too many details of crystallography, but if the structure has been solved by electron, uh, sorry, if the structure has been solved by crystallography or in some cases electron, micros uh, electron microscopy, there'll usually be for a big structure like this, which is just repeating units, an asymmetric unit, which is what you will download when you download from the PDB. But then inside of the PDB, there will be instructions on how to perform symmetry operations to generate the biological assembly. So let's just get started. If we go into molecular nodes, paste our 1CD3 and click download. Now, because we are only downloading the asymmetric unit, it's gonna be actually a quick download, so it's already done. If I had clicked build biological assembly here, I'm probably actually gonna remove this functionality because this was an old way of doing it where in Python, it would go through and generate it for you and then it loaded all in, but that ended up with a lot of computation time and actually really slowed things down. And so I've been able to do it inside of nodes instead, and which is much, much faster. So we have our asymmetric unit. Let's go to geometry nodes, go into rendered view. Oh, and let's switch over to cycles. And like usual, I'm just gonna add in a sun like that. And so our asymmetric unit here, if we go to styling ribbon to see what's going on, we've got our ribbon, but what we need to do is we need to do various movements, rotations, and symmetries to build out the biological assembly. So if we go shift A molecular nodes, it's currently under properties. I may change the category that it's under but if we find the biological assembly node, now before I drop this on, you'll see that molecular nodes has created another properties collection called 1CD3 assemblies. If molecular nodes has created this and there's nothing in this collection or there's only one, then there are no more biological assemblies inside of your PDB file that were detected. Whereas with this, there are six different biological assemblies. So we just take this node we drop it on, and just like that, we've built our virus capsid. We can, with this node, chain it, cycle through the different biological assemblies. So we can see just this sort of uh, pentameric shape that ultimately is then rotated to build the virus. And we can see a couple of different biological assemblies. Um, I'm not really sure how these are decided upon, but I think the author deposits them, but our first one builds the entire virus. And so that's basically it. Um, it's all the power of one node. So anything that you pipe into here, so if we took that off and just had our atoms, it would, if I press M to mute, it's going to build up that virus with those atoms. If we put our style surface on, then it's doing the same thing with the surface. If we, if I s change the color of some of these chains, so our selections, chain selection, and we plug that into there. Let's go chain G. Well, actually, we want to get rid of these. So all of these little red spheres are the waters, and you can see in our chain selections, there's chain HOH. So that's all the waters in the structure, is this chain HOH. So if we go 
selections, atoms, HOH. And if we just said the selection, then we would only get the waters. But if we say inverted, then we get everything that's not the waters. And so we'll just leave that there to get rid of the waters. And then we're coloring this green. Let's actually color that a bit more of an exciting color, like red. And then we can color everything else, use our inverted selection to be, hmm, let's go like a blue like that. And then if we want, we can put on our ribbon. If that's the sort of look we want to go for. Or we can put in our surface node. Now we've got our virus. It, uh, if we go tilde one into our camera, we're inside of the virus. So if we click our camera, GZZ, zoom out. And just like that, let's add some depth of field. Change this down to 0 0.01. And we can see that some of the virus is in focus. Oh, that's a bit extreme. Cool, that looks pretty cool. Let's click render. And so already we can see we're getting a pretty visually stunning image of this virus. It's taken very little effort at all from us, thanks to molecular nodes. So let's add in, let's do another example. Let's do Clathrin, so 1x i4. Now Clathrin was an, an EM structure. There wasn't super high res structure, it was way back in 2004 and the eight angstroms. And so there are only carbons in this structure, but we can still get the biological assembly built out from that because they do have that information. So if we go molecular nodes, paste that in, click download, wait a few seconds for it to download, do the required things. So we've got clathrin now up here in our properties that we can actually turn off the assemblies for the virus. And if I zoom out, we can see we've got part of clathrin here if we just click Clathrin, add our properties, biological assembly, let's add properties, radii rescale, let's do two. So we're just rescaling the radii. And now we have our virus trapped inside a Clathrin cage. Now, obviously this isn't actually science in any kind of way, but you know, it's a fun little thing. What we can do, what I'm gonna do is, and I'm realizing maybe all of this recording is choppy, we're gonna change the GPU compute. So our virus is trapped inside this cage. Now this isn't biologically relevant at all, but you know, where's the fun in that? With the biological assembly node, there are the different biological assemblies but there is also this transform. And so this is a zero to one, and that will scale the transform that each asymmetric unit has had to undergo to get to where it needs to go. And so you can go, whoop, this fun little animation where this cage is closing up around your virus, if you know that's what you wanted to do, but again, not actually biologically relevant in any kind of way, but it's just a cool little animation. Each asymmetric unit is treated as an index. So we can actually do a fun little animation that I will demonstrate where we go um, map range. And if we go molecular nodes, animation, animate, animate mapped. I think there's 12 different chains and we want our index. So we go from index to math, add one. So going from index to the maximum index, 
And then if we plug that into transform and I press play, we're going to have a nice little animation of each, each asymmetric unit undergoing what is required to fully build out the biological, the biological assembly. So again, if you want to use this as a teaching tool to teach sort of crystallography with asymmetric units and different sort of things it needs to undergo to fully develop the uh, biological assembly or the unit cell, then you can use that sort of thing for that. So how's that looking inside of our render? Let's actually change that. Um, we want our camera to see further. Let's have our sun be much brighter, much wider, and zoom out a bit. And then have our camera have more depth of field, and have that in focus. And let's just press F12. So again, this isn't biologically relevant, but we've got a little virus trapped inside of our clathrin cage. So that's the biological assembly node and an example of how you can use it to generate uh, a biological assembly of a structure that you have. So there's our virus in there. And so I will leave it there for the biological assembly node and building a virus inside of geometry nodes and with molecular nodes. Thanks again for all of the support from everyone. I really appreciate it. If you really want to support the development of this package, both continued and so far as a thank you. You can buy me some coffees, I really do appreciate it. Uh, of course, you can also leave a like, subscribe and share it with colleagues, that sort of thing. Please do continue tweeting at me with your creations with Molecular Nodes. I love to see how it's getting used. Um, and with that, I will leave it there and I'll see you in the next video.